Yeah, I do a treatment, it's called body reactivating technique. Mm -hmm. And I release adverse tension on the spinal cord, the hips and the pelvis. Mm -hmm. And that then improves communication between the brain and the rest of the body. Okay, look at the first thing I picked up was a lower back was sore. Quite a lot of stress on the sacrum. And then both the pelvic bones were out of alignment, going tilting backwards, which puts a lot of stress on the lower back. Getting up in the morning, it can be quite painful and uncomfortable. Driving for too long, getting out of the car. Yeah, it was, was really nice, like a really different experience. Was like my lower back pain is so right. Every morning I have issues, and yeah, I can't wait to get up and jump around. And I feel much better. I feel really chilled now. It's very nice. And then I picked up in a C1 in the top of the neck, which is right up there in the base of the skull. It's over there. Now it's very difficult to release that in that area because it's in the base of the skull. Once I went and released T8, T9, and T10, that has released uh, the cervical one, which is right on top. And if that vertebra is out, it can really affect the whole nervous system. So that's out. It can be linked to if, the, if your mind's been very busy, you can't switch off, difficulty sleeping. And even though there's nothing to worry about, but you might still be feeling quite anxious and you can't relax uh, completely, you know. So that's what that was about. Yo, he grabbed some things. was like, oh my God. <laughs> Nearly wanted to mm, be a lady, don't scream. But I think no pain, no gain. And I think it's really good. I needed that. But it's a non-invasive procedure, so it's not dangerous, there's no ripping and pulling. So the best way to describe it is it's like we had our foot on a hose pipe. Mm -hmm. We're taking the foot off the hose pipe. Because everything, everything we need to be healthy is in the body, but often they're blockages. So I act as a facilitator, I release the blockage and then the body heals itself, you see. I balanced the, the, she had parasympathetic excess. Now parasympathetic is, you got the sympathetic nervous system and you got the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight mode. You know, hundreds of years ago, if we're walking through the bush and you hear a wild animal, the survival mode kicks in, you know. And I normally, after having a treatment like this or a massage, the parasympathetic nervous system kicks in, where the body's resting and digesting nicely. The thing is with her, her body was in parasympathetic excess. So it's the pendulum swinging all the way from one side all the way to the other. And I normally, if a person has parasympathetic, parasympathetic excess, that's just an indication that they're absolutely exhausted, but also they might have been extremely busy the last couple of months of the last year, you know, juggling 10 things at once, here, there, everywhere, and eventually the body sort of just goes into a bit of a slump, you know. So she, she's been very tired. She's been very tired physically, but at the same time I picked up a bit of tension anxiety. So it's a bit of both, you know. So that's basically what I picked up. And then right at the end, I just did an emotional clearance. And that then, yeah, uh, leaves the body to function optimally as it should. Oh, okay, yeah. so, so so what um, what do people come with, like, for instance, frozen shoulder, or what chronic pains are they coming to you? Well, the most chronic pain, I'd say, is actually lower back pain. Lower back pain seems to be the most common, you know, mm -hmm. and most people come with chronic lower back pain, so it helps for that. And also things like really stiff neck and shoulders, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And besides the stiff neck and the shoulders and the lower back pain, just a lot of general stress and tension people come here with, you know. I think it's just the life is so fast and there's so much stress out there these days. So that's also a big one that they come here with, yeah. Okay, so where did you learn everything what you know now? Where did you study? How long did you study for? I qualified in 2005 yeah. and I've been, I got stuck into it very quickly, luckily. And I've been doing, I've been doing this regularly since 2006. Okay, I studied at the Body Health Center. Mm -hmm. The course took about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. But as I said, you know, I often tell people I've been doing the treatment, I've been doing it for so long that even the guy that taught me if you lay in the bed, it would be quite different. Because yeah. you find your own ways of releasing the body and all that type of thing, yes. Oh, wow. So, and all the time you're at the waterfront? Yeah, I've been at the waterfront since 2006. That's the only place I've been practicing from. So, you have a lot of repeating clients? Yes. Kryptonians or more tourists? Or? It's both. You know, I've been around for a long time. I often get referrals and all that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So, do, uh, if, if one of the locals or one of your clients come, how many treatments do they need? Is it just one treatment or would it be better to have a second or a third treatment or...? Uh, look, it works so well. Even after one treatment, you feel absolutely fantastic. The results you can't believe. But often I do advise people to maybe come back for another treatment or a third treatment maximum. 
just to make sure the body holds properly, you know what I mean? So, and often people feel so good after the first treatment, they don't bother coming back, and then often a month or two later, the pain can come back, you see? And then after that, I often encourage people to come back once a month or once every six weeks, just for a maintenance, just for maintenance, just to keep the body in optimum health and all that type of thing. Yeah. So how long does a treatment take? Is it like half an hour or an hour or 15 mm. minutes? Or? Well, mm. Normally it takes 30 minutes. Sometimes it can go up to 40, 45 minutes. It always depends how blocked the... It depends, yeah. There's, there's no set routine for everybody. Yeah. So are you taking any needles or is it really just a body alignment? And Yeah, it's, it's, it's all hands-on. It's just my physical hands that I use. And the client is fully clothed, mm -hmm. they don't have to take anything off. And uh, the, the client's body acts as a biofeedback me mechanism, you know, so I read the body's reflexes and then the body indicates exactly where the stress and the tension is and I release that. So afterwards you can jump off and you feel like rejuvenated Absolutely. and feel much better as before. Absolutely, your, your mind will be a lot clearer, more peaceful, more balanced, all that type of thing, yeah. It's, it's not just treating the aches and the pains, it's treating the body as a whole. Okay. So if somebody comes here with a lower back pain, I'm not just treating the lower back, I'm treating the body as a whole, it's a holistic yeah. approach. And then once the body's working better as a whole, the whole will take care of the bits and the pieces, you see. Yeah, because it's not just one point, it's a no, lot you've of got, points. you've got to balance the whole body out. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. no use in just fake focusing on the neck, for instance, or just the lower back, it's a holistic approach. You've got to balance the entire body.